the portable gaming device called the GameLing. Built-in speakers, even multiplayer support via connection cable. It's underpowered, but given the lower cost and excellent portability, it might find a huge following. It'll be on shelves next month. Well, it's selling a lot. It got good reviews. I can now create my own game engine. So start to get started, close this message and click anywhere. Game tutorials, mono sound. Nice. Successfully researched custom game engine. Sales report. Way below expected numbers. The game received good reviews, but it seems that the chosen platform isn't popular with this target audience. I took a risk with a mature game. That's what that's what you get. Alright, let's create a custom engine. Linear story. Game engine. Save game. 90,000 to create it! Oh my god. That takes a lot. That takes a lot. We're gonna hold off on that. We need to generate some revenue. Five weeks. We're not gonna get that though. Five weeks for logo animation? That's not happening fast enough. Ugh. Let's also generate a game report. All right, okay. We're, we're screwed here. Game report. Ugh. Most release analysis of Zombro homies, ladies. Very important. Audience mature. Master V mature, bad, oh. Shoot. It's not... Okay. I can do this. That we can make happen. Alright, we're just gonna do a bunch of contract work right now. That's all we're gonna do. We're gonna do some contract work, get ourselves out of the red. Alright, that's fine. Alright. 13, 15? I feel like that would be pushing it. But let's try it. We're gonna try it. We're gonna we're gonna see if we can make it. The 31,000 is gonna be great. Oh yeah, I think we got it. I think we got this. Oh, maybe we don't. So close. Industry report. With the growth of the interest in video games, there's also a growing audience. These magazines offer a great way. We're not gonna we're not gonna finish this in time. Marketing. Oh no, why are you scratching your head? Stop scratching, damn it! Ugh, and now we're in the negative. Jeez. There's a lot. We need a lot of, a lot of contract work. No, we've already proven we can't make that happen. I think we just need to create a new game. Let's research a new topic. We'll try our forte into music gaming. We're gonna go even more into debt though. I know it. We're gonna go even more into debt. Even more. Oh. Here we are. Research complete. Yay! Music. Help a new game. Young. Pick a topic. Music. Music. Pick a genre. Um, simulation. Pick a platform. How much would it? 50k to, to do that. Adventure simulation.
Now we're negative 50k again. That doesn't really matter. Story and quest, because it's music, is fine. Yeah, we're an awful 88. Pay us 158,000 in a year's time. All right. You have more than 1 million in cash. Oh, if you have one more, we'll be able to move to the next level. This might sound like a lot, but don't worry. Once you at least hit game easily. Yeah, ooh, the Master V consoles announced the Vena Gear. Game Gear. The spokesperson for the company said, unlikely similar devices on the market, which don't come close to gaming consoles in the Vienna Gear, has basically the full power of the Master V, except you can take it with you. Oh, the promises of handheld gaming back in the late 80s, mid 90s. <clears throat> we haven't made anything for any handheld consoles yet. Don't need to worry about dialogues. Don't need to worry about artificial intelligence because it's a music game. So we're just going to focus all on level design. Uh, I'm afraid that we're going to become bankrupt unless we just powerhouse a couple of games. Sound is big. Graphics doesn't really need to be world design. All right. Focus a lot on the sound because we're doing music games. Finish. Ooh. New topic, new combo. Nice. Ooh, level design bumped up. We need to hit level three. I need to make a million dollars. Maybe I just need to focus on releasing games. And develop a new game. Oh, I didn't name it. Oh, that's embarrassing. Um, we'll call this one... We'll make a martial arts. We'll do an action. We'll make it for the Master V. And we're gonna call this one... Um, Copper Foot 3. So we got Hangnail. Let's do this time around. Let's make it... Instead of Hangnail, we'll call this one... Um, toe Jam. Next. 2D. Next. For game number eight. Generic title. Too many bugs. Oh, I released it without getting rid of the bugs. Has its moments. I should have debugged it. Shows potential. Falls a bit short. Damn it! I was just so eager to get it out there so I could make money. I released it with bugs. Alright. Alright, gameplay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Selling a lot of units. AI is big. When it comes to that, dialogues will keep their level design. We'll keep that up. Yeah. Game number eight. Graphics, world design. We'll bump these up. We're gonna actually. Ooh. I think this one, game number eight, sold the most. Bugless! New record. Leveled up, leveled up. Aww. World design. Graphics. So close. Yeah, level three! Release! Level Better user experience with the level editor. Alright, let's check out what ToeJam... Ooh, did we knock it out of the park with this one? Seven! Good game. It's a really good game. Seven! Looks like we're going to be a fighting game company. 
Eight. Ooh. That's gonna sell really well. Holy shit. Taken in two months it'll be taken off the market. Holy snap. Alright, I need to make another game though. <laughs> Topic. We'll do. Ooh, I know what we'll do. We'll do music, and we'll call this game number nine. It'll be for youths, and it'll be a genre, and it'll be a simulation, and we'll make it for... We'll make it for that. We'll do 2D. Boom. Let's make it happen. We just need to power through and make a bunch of stuff. Engines, fine. Story, quests don't need to be anything. Gameplay. Get some bugs in there. And we'll debug this one. Don't need any dialogues. Hardly any artificial intelligence. This one has no, like, no bugs in it. That's insane. Design, sound, and graphical levels. Ooh, we're at 217,000. Filed for bankruptcy. Higher price alternative. And was forced... Platform to retire the market early next year. Ooh, that introduced a lot of bugs. Sound introduced a lot of bugs. Let's get rid of the bugs. Ooh, design, technology. Uh, uh. This one's gonna. We sold 30,000 units of Toe Jam. Nice. Nice. For use of game number nine. Nine, one of the best. Yes! 10! We got a 10 out of 10 from Informed Gamer. A 10 out of 10 from Game Hero. And a 10 out of 10 from All Games. That's gonna sell like no other. Yeah, game number eight's off, but that's okay because we just got game number nine. Make this one everyone. Ooh, I should research a new topic. Now that we have some money, let's research a new topic. Farming. All right. Uh, we'll also research. Oh, we can only research one at a time. I have eight hundred thirty-nine thousand fifty thousand units sold. Holy shit! Game number nine took off. That was in the first month. Oh my god. Wow. We made an excellent music game. <clears throat> A lot of capital. If you want to grow the company further, moving to a new office. Alright, yeah, we'll move to an office. I think I need to actually start to pay people now. Spacious Gaming. It's funny, I was facing bankruptcy. <laughs> facing bankruptcy. Hire staff and forge world-class development team to make even better games. So train yourself and your staff to improve skills. Let's try this by completing a management course, which is required before you hire your first employee. To get started, close this message, click anywhere. Click on the character. To complete, simply click on your player character to access the training course. Oh, completed farming. Oh, okay. According to our market research, surprise hit with players that develop or it's fairly new to the gaming industry and cannot wait for what they will develop next. Train. Staff management. Start. 
Ooh, look, we have a little break room. Golden chest mini boss. Boss. That's cool. I require for you to pay back the amount in three months' time. Yeah, we got it. We're game number nine is still selling. Holy smokes! <laughs> I feel like now we can create a custom engine. We're gonna call this the uh, crustacean engine. I don't know why I had a total brain. It says it right there, and I couldn't spell it. All right, it's 90k. We're gonna create this engine. We're now creating our own custom game engine. Once the engine's finished, you'll be able to use it when creating new games. Nice. Staff list. Before you hire someone, you have to advertise. Set an advertising budget to decide how you want to test your applicants. A high budget will increase the number of applicants, and different tests will help find people with the right balance. Okay. Um, and we don't want two million. Let's do. Let's put. We'll do a hundred thousand. Complex algorithms, game demo, show reel. Okay. Anybody who has a game demo? Seems recently moved into an office while in Technology Park and is now searching for employees. The company, which is known for games such as Game Number no. 9 and Copperfoot 3 Toe Jam, has reportedly operated out of a garage until now. One of the many fans of Game Number no. 9 commented, I can't believe that they didn't even have a proper office until now. And those games created only by one person. I'm really looking forward to their future games. Yeah! The search of the open position for the open position is complete. You can now review the applicants and hire someone for this job. Don't forget, you can always train your employees to improve their skills. Let's see. Level 2. He wants 16k a month. He wants 21k a month. This guy wants 21k a month, and he's not even that fast. Paul, Timothy, Jade. I want 18 for 257, 234, 268, 247. I'm gonna go with him. Right? Hire someone famous! New employees have to settle in before they become fully effective. When a character is not fully efficient, you can see an efficiency bar next to them. This bar will fill up slowly over time. It's usually a good idea to give your new staff a welcome training to get them up to speed quickly. This will maximize their efficiency way faster than normal. Medium game. Welcome staff. 10k, wow. Ooh. Don't try to hire everyone at once as staff. Expensive. Many rookies hire too early and go bankrupt. Take it slow. Okay. That's what you say. Crustacean engine. First custom game engine is now ready. Try it on your next game. All right. Shall we go with game number 10? Music. Simulation. Here's the, crust the new crustacean engine. Next. New graphics. Holy smokes, that dude's fast.
We're gonna try our new game engine. We're gonna put everything we can into our new game engine. Bump this up a little bit, maybe? There we go. Conduct from your account, that's fine. Pump a little of that into it. Game number nine fucking took off. Fans of game number eight created a fan game using a lot of material from our game. They don't make money and it just seems they don't make any money and it just seems to do it for fellow fans. Our legal advisors strongly suggest that we shouldn't allow this to go on. Oh. Yeah, no we're gonna stop them. Right away. Holy smokes! Having a lot of people, we can bust oh man. Story and quests. Tried something new. I don't know how well it's gonna go. Nice. Open world. Alright. We need to start doing some research. Some contract work, maybe? No, we're fine. We don't need contract work. If you want to create hit games, have world class trainer, but don't overwhelm them. Turning options available. Specialists all around. Let's see. Game design for pirates. Game dev. First reviews for game number 10. Hmm. Falls a bit short. Tried to make a sequel. Uninspiring. Fun at stages. Bummer. Have seen better. Let's train you on don't repeat yourself. Media report. The latest game, we were scratching their heads rather than bringing a new and innovative game to the market. Another music simulation game. Too soon after the previous. I'm name developer game number eight fan. Shut down. I poured a lot of effort into this. I just loved your company, but I guarantee you I shall not bother nor support you ever again. I would have hired you! 